Um, uh, in Kenya, only 3.1% of citizens have health insurance. And with yesterday being World Health Day, joining us now live from our Nairobi studios for more on this is Peter Nduati. He is the CEO of Resolution Health. Peter, thanks so much for uh, joining us this afternoon. Let's get straight into the kind of market you're uh, catering to right now and what the status is when it comes to health insurance in Kenya. Um, we've seen penetration grow. Um, I mean, when we came, I came into the business about 10 years ago, we were at about 1.9. We're heading to 3% now in penetration. The focus still really is the employment market and um, the, the middle and upper middle. Taking a look at uh, things, I mean, it's 3.1% out of a possible 40 million over in Kenya. So not a saturated market at all that we're looking at here. What are some of the challenges to uh, targeting and reining this market in? I, I miss that. Um, <clears throat> but um, I, I can see one of the biggest challenges that we have, it's, it's to the pro healthcare provider, it's a, it's, 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 a, it's a provider market. We as a health um, insurers don't have an ability to negotiate with the healthcare providers. So typically every July you'll see the rates going up. And be because they don't see the volumes that we offer, you find that the, the, that keep pushing the prices higher because as underwriting, we're not able to make money. So what kind of strategy are you employing to grow your market share and get uh, more people uh, you know, insured in the health insurance uh, or in the health scheme, uh, Peter, because of course, as you say, the challenge is price, but you've uh, got to be having some kind of strategy in play right now. Okay. One of the things that we have done is coming together as an industry and out of the 10, the 10, the 10 largest health insurers, we've come together and we started to negotiate, to negotiate with the providers as a group. Um, the, the, the second thing we're trying to do is diversify our offering to, to offer the product to the lower people who had never had access to it, the lower middle class. If you look at the urban areas in the major towns, you find the penetration is still very low and there are people who need our service as the economy grows. Mm -hmm. Price aside, is there a changed perception as to the benefit of having something like health insurance? Positively, um, b before People used to depend on the community in terms of fundraisings when someone falls sick, and, and, and especially when they want to take uh, treatment out of the country. But that has waned. Kenyans right now um, know if you call a fundraising, people will not come for medical, and that has helped. Uh, the other issue is, is um, the past government pushed the NSS, NHIF to try and provide some semblance of universal health care, and that has helped in educating the public on the need of uh, health insurance. Uh, how would you describe the competitive landscape? What's your assessment of it uh, over in Kenya right now? Um, we're currently the second largest after um, a company that has been around for almost 70 years. Um, we see the barriers to entry has been brought a lot by, by regulation. We are happy about that. Uh, the industry is growing at 25 to 28%. So if you look at the rest of Africa, we are growing faster than them. And as education grows and the economy grows, we believe we will top that particular market has.